experience with her. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> I'm going to try this again. Jeez. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, one of our members came on. Her name is Jackie, and she was just reminding us of an important uh, situation that happened to her. And for us to figure out, you know, reminders when we have movable pieces of our wheelchair and we have to put that wheelchair in a taxi or a van or we're on the train or we're on the uh in the plane and we take off a movable piece of our wheelchair for us not and to remember somehow not to leave it behind because it can become a hassle to get that piece back so um, do everything you can to uh, figure out a way to remind yourself uh, not to go without that important piece. And what happened to her was her wheelchair, I think she was talking about the heel straps, and that was taken off uh, when they put it in the uh, taxi, in the trunk. And then when the wheelchair was taken out, uh, those straps were left behind in the trunk. Uh, the taxi left, and then uh, she realized that the straps were missing. And, you know, she, she needed those straps to be able to function in the wheelchair in her, on her footrest. So she called the company, and the company was going to charge her for the trip of the taxi driver to, to come back and to give her the, the strips the the heel strips so and <laughs> so she was like oh no no you don't <laughs> so she she said uh, excuse me you're gonna charge me for the taxi to come up no <laughs> if you want to see yourself tangled up in a nice lawsuit <laughs> for not uh, dropping off those pieces of my wheelchair that are very important to me. Uh, yeah, you, you just better drop those off. So <laughs> she said it w within two minutes, the taxi was there <laughs> with the heel straps, <laughs> the stirrups that she calls them. And so, <laughs> so that, that threat worked very well. <laughs> but seriously, um, you know, I'm not sure why the, the company uh, really threatened to, to do that. <laughs> it's like this is a person with a disability and it's it's just a, a, a strap that she needs for, for the foot rest. So <laughs> where's the goodness? Where's the kindness? Where is the support to the person you just served? <laughs> so but you know it 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 is important for us to really uh, make sure we figure out a way to remind ourselves of that piece that we took off and uh, to make sure that it's in our backpack or on our person so, so it doesn't get left behind. Uh, sometimes I will take off, like for my walker, I will take off my cup holder, and, but I'll leave it in my room or something, but if I have to take it off, you know, I'll leave it close by so I know to pick it up and, and then leave. Sometimes I use my walker either to transfer or I use my walker to walk a short distance. So, so then they, they, they bring it with me. Um, <coughs> you know, I was, on re I was going on retreat. You all know I went on retreat last week. And, and it was um, like, do I take my walker or not? And I thought, you know, it's too many moving parts. <laughs> so I decided to keep it really simple and just take my wheelchair. No other tools, no other flashy stuff. So <laughs> I just went with my wheelchair, nothing more, and um, to make sure I don't leave anything behind. Now, it's a retreat center that I know very well. And if I had left anything behind, they would have certainly helped me out, you know, to, to get that part back. So not an issue, but when you're with a company or an or organization that uh, y you don't know very well or they're just serving you just once, 
then you don't know how they're going to behave or how they're going to support you later. So we just have to figure out ways to, to make sure that we remember or we keep that small piece on ourselves in our backpack or our pocket or whatever it is so we don't so we don't leave it behind. I know that sometimes in the rush of things, you know, and you have a caregiver and there's a lot of people involved, you trust in your caregiver or you trust in the taxi driver, you, you just trust, you know, in all the, dif the different moving parts. And then it's like, oh, nobody remembered about <laughs> the straps or whatever part you had to take off, your joystick or whatever, and, and it got left behind and it's a critical part of your wheelchair. So, so I just wanted to put that alert. It was, it was a good story on the part of Jackie. You can find it in the comments. And I appreciate her uh, sharing her story so that um, we, we figure out for ourselves, you know, what is the best way to make sure I don't leave anything behind that's important to me. <laughs> it could be a headrest, could be, you know, any one of those things. So. This is a just a short video. Just a, I wanted to put Jackie's story out there. Um, I'm sure she'll appreciate it. And to remind us all when we're traveling to make sure that those small parts of our wheelchairs don't get left behind. That is her message. So um, thank you, Jackie. And uh, I want to remind everyone that in uh, on August 28th, guess what starts? <laughs> the Paralympics. So don't forget. There's my banner back there <laughs> that'll help you remember. <laughs> and I will leave the link actually in, in this video so you can check out the Paralympics, even if it's short cuts and things like that. They might uh, uh, put it on TV so we can watch some segments. So that will be exciting. Uh, I want to thank everyone for coming to the channel. It helps a lot. And if you want to help even more, <laughs> then uh, do a, uh, you can subscribe if you feel like you're going to come back and be part of the community. You can subscribe. And then um, uh, doing a like also helps. Sharing helps a lot too. And uh, just comments and things like that, that also builds up the, the community here at w uh, World Wheelchair Warriors. So thank you again so much for coming. Watch one of the videos that I have there. The more you watch also, uh, also helps. So um, very appreciative of my part. I'll see you in the next video.